Grain Boy is back because today we are making high quality organic pancakes, healthy, delicious, and simple. I was eating these probably over a year ago and they never sat well with my stomach because of the low fiber content of the white flour. However, we have mixed it with oats or oat flour to make a higher fiber, gut friendly pancake that is great for liver detox. And I've been eating these probably every day for the past two or three weeks now. And I really, really enjoy them for breakfast. They taste good. They're easy on my stomach and uh, it's nothing crazy to make it. So it's nice to have the variety because regular oatmeal is nice, but regardless of how much sugar or whatever you put in quick oats, it's still a bowl of oatmeal. It's not the most delicious thing in the world. And uh, what else do I usually have for breakfast? Uh, that's pretty much it. Oats or these pancakes. Yeah, so let's show you guys the ingredients. So here we have Birch Bender's Organic Classic Pancake and Waffle Mix. We have all of this stuff here available on frankiesrangefoods.com if you guys do not have access to it. This is just a high quality pancake mix with minimally inflammatory ingredients and it has a little leavening in there so it turns out really nice. However, low fiber, very low fiber content. So we have some organic oat flour also available on the foods website. You could also use organic quick oats which turn out just as good. I've tried both recipes. If anything, I even like the quick oats a little more. So either oat flour or quick oats that we're gonna mix with this. The only ingredient in this is oats. A little bit of sugar to sweeten up the batter, organic cane sugar here, and then some vanilla extract, as well as vanilla bean powder. You could do either or, I like using a mix of both. And then in the back here we have some of the sea salt and some glass bottled water. So let's get everything mixed together. Now you wanna do this at least half an hour before breakfast, or ideally the night before, because the oats really need to soak up the water Otherwise, you know, it's not going to turn out that good and it's not going to digest that well. So, you know, you're not going to be ready to do breakfast immediately. You know, if you want an immediate solution, then uh, you can, I guess, but it's not ideal. So we have half a cup of our pancake mix, half a cup of the oat flour, nice pinch of salt. Then we're going to do one tablespoon of the organic sugar. This is where you want to be careful because if you put too much sugar, that's what causes these to stick to the pan really, really badly. So don't go more than a tablespoon of sugar in here. Then we'll put our vanilla bean powder, just a little bit. For water, we need a little over three quarters of a cup. Don't worry, we can always add a little more water. And then to that water, I'm gonna put the little bit of vanilla extract. Yeah, because if you put the vanilla extract just in the dry, it doesn't disperse as well. Now the texture you're looking for here is thinner than it should be because as this soaks up the water, it's going to really tighten up. So right now you would say, okay, this is like, this is perfect for like pancake or waffle batter, right? It's an ideal texture, but for what we're doing, it needs to be looser. And if you're doing this the night before, the texture would be a little different. So the night before you want it almost like a thin soup half an hour before or a little bit before breakfast, you want it to be just a little bit runny. So this is pretty loose. This is good for, for now in about half an hour. If you add a little more water, it's gonna have to be an overnight thing. And if you do accidentally add too much water and it's really soupy and you don't wanna wait anymore, you would just add more of the, the pancake mix to tighten it up. But this is gonna sit for a little while so that the starches and the oats can absorb the water. However, I have made one in advance that is ready. So you can see this really, really thickened up. You know, we had the same consistency and just half an hour later, those oats really suck up a lot of water. This is actually too thick. So we're just gonna add a drop more water in here. I like the batter a little thicker. You know, it's easier to, to flip the pancakes and keep them small in the pan. So we have our nonstick pan. A lot of you guys post comments complaining about me using nonstick. These are green pan allegedly made with non-toxic non-stick material. So I got those on my Amazon shop if you guys wanna check it out. In this we're gonna use maybe a tablespoon and a half of coconut oil. Again guys, like everything I use is available on the foods website, even the coconut oil. I might get the vanilla on there. That's the only thing we don't have. 
you just want to make sure it's really it's really well coated because when that fat comes in contact with the pancakes that's what's going to cause the really crusty edges and the delicious pieces of the pancake because we all know the best part of the pancake is that like crusty outer ring you don't want to make them too big that just makes them harder to flip so after i pour one i'm going to like tilt the oil to the other part of the pan so i can try to pour the other pancakes in the oil This is where you can tell they're ready to flip. Like the, the sides of the pancake are kind of cooked and there's a lot of bubbles on the top. And if you're scared these stuck, you know, kind of scrape your spatula underneath, but these are, you know, these are very good. These are very loose. And you see this, that's where all the flavor is. This is, this is the best part of the pancake by far, that crusty outer edge. You could even add like a, a little more coconut oil here and just move it around. See it's gonna, see that coconut oil bubbles up and, and caramelizes the crust of the, the pancake like that. So these are definitely finished. What I like to do is, uh, is kill the heat and just let them sit in the pan until I'm ready to eat them. You know, make sure they're cooking through, they're resting a bit and uh, I have time to do other stuff that I need for breakfast, like cook our Iberico breakfast sausage from Frankie's Strange Meat, or, you know, get my probiotics and stuff ready. Sorry about the vent pan, guys. Try not to inhale too much gas. Holy shit. That was bad. So we have our delicious pancakes here paired with organic maple syrup. I know I sound like a broken record, but even the maple syrup guide's available on the foods website. Uh, I'm not gonna try these because I have to get this video edited and uploaded uh, for you guys this morning. I'm filming this at like 10.30 a.m. Saturday. So I just wanna edit that video real quick and then I can come back and enjoy this. But I encourage you guys to try this recipe out. They are delicious, they are very tasty. Whether you use the regular oats or the quick oats and very easy on the stomach. I've never had any digestive issues with these pancakes. If you wanna add some raw butter from Frankie's Strange Meat, you wanna put buttermilk in the batter, all that type of stuff is up to you. It might taste a little better, but definitely don't do a sourdough fermentation because it, you know, it turns out sour, it's not that good. Also, we will be doing a live stream a few hours from now at 3.30 p.m. Eastern time this Saturday if you guys would like to join me for a health and nutrition Q&A. But as always, thank you guys. You can check out frankdestefano.com to see all of my interesting businesses. And of course, just drop a like on the video, leave a comment down below. Make sure to subscribe and check that notification bell. And I'll see you guys soon.